So what we got right now is this is another video on Oscar's GT350. We got these annoying dumb flies that fly around on us. Look, it's on my knuckles. See it? Look, it's up there. I don't know why that bothered me, but it just <laughs> annoys me. This is an intake. This is an original Shelby intake. This is worth thousands of dollars is what is in um, Cliff's hands right now. How do you feel? Feels pretty good. You're holding like a real Shelby part. Yeah, I know. This is not an aftermarket. And I'm going to do a close-up of it. It's not going to get super clean. And Oscar's looking to our uh, expertise on what to recommend. First, we're going to do, let me turn it around and I'll tell you what we're planning on doing with this intake that's going on the original Hypo 289 that is for a matching numbers uh, Shelby GT350. Here it is. There's the markings on the actual intake. Do an extreme close up for you guys. There was some kind of weird uh, patch here. I'm not sure. I know it's an original Shelby, but again, then again, it's an older intake. And I'm going to flip it over again so we can look at that. This is a little bit of strangeness going on here that doesn't feel stock to me. Maybe you guys can clue me in on that, but just something we noticed on the intake. But this is the underside of the intake. I'm going to flip it over again one more time. And this is the top side and we are going to be uh, sandblasting this piece. We're going to look at the finish and see if we're happy with it. And if not, guys, we are contemplating actually putting cast blast silver on top of this intake. Anybody that's got any kind of issue with what we're thinking about doing right now with the cast blast silver paint on top of this, say it now and forever hold your peace. Because again, this is a community of, of people that are Shelby lovers and we do this step by step and you guys are involved in the process. At the moment, sandblasting and see if we're happy with the finish. If not, possibility of um, actually painting it silver cast blast. Another option is buying a whole new intake at great cost, but we're gonna, we're gonna go to save this original intake. That's, that's what we're doing right now. All right, thanks. So right now, Sky's blowing her all out and getting ready. Did she get blasted? Has uh, she been blasted? blasted? Not yet. She hasn't been blasted yet? Mm -hmm. She's just been uh, dipped in solvent to clean out all the uh, debris inside. Okay. So she's been soaked and now she's moving to blasting on this Shelby intake. It's a bad mamma jammer. Oh, yeah. So what do you think about those that those those ga those those strangeness in the back there? I mean I, what what do you think that is? I mean it's that's from cast iron and aluminum being run with water. That's so that's a water it's electrolysis. De it's just, electrolysis? Yeah. All right, so we got electrolysis on it, but it's still good, you think? Well, the surface seems to be, there's, there's enough gasket surface left, it'll seal. It'll seal. So that's electrolysis from water on aluminum, guys. Water, aluminum, and cast iron. When you mix the three, that's what happens. And what is, this is just a little bit of... It's, it's, it's wherever the water's been, it's going to do that. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. All right. Next step, sandblasting. I was wondering three years ago, you know, what am I going to shoot video on? if I just keep doing leaf springs. <laughs> Life is unpredictable, guys. Enjoy it.